In this lesson, I'll show you three examples on how to divide by long division with remainders. Question one reads, divide 898 by eight. The first thing that you want to determine here is what your dividend and what your divisor is. Our divisor is the eight, and our dividend is 898. And the way we organize this by long division is we write our divisor and our dividend right next to each other. and we separate them by this line. Now you start asking yourself, how many times does eight fit into that first number eight? In other words, what's the highest number I can multiply this eight by without going over this eight? And the answer to that is one. One times eight is eight. Now we subtract, eight minus eight is equal to zero. We pull this number down, and now we ask how many times does eight fit into nine? If you multiply eight by one, you get eight, which is less than nine. One times eight is eight subtract this number from this number gives us one. Finally, we bring down this eight. Eight fits into 18 twice because two times eight is equal to 16. Subtracting these, we end up with a remainder of two. Now, depending on the level of study, you might stop right there and say that the remainder is two. But if you want to find out what the exact quotient is, because right now the quotient isn't exact, what you do is you introduce a decimal and you place the decimal right after the last digit. This decimal will also be placed after the two. Introduce a zero. Bring this zero down so that it's right next to the two. Eight fits into 20, once again, twice. Eight times two is equal to 16. That's equal to four. We still have another remainder, this four. So we introduce another zero. Bring that zero down. Eight fits into 40 five times exactly. Five times eight is equal to 40 with no remainder. And this is our exact quotient. Let's move on to question number two. The question reads, find the quotient for 865.55 over seven. Our divisor here is seven and our dividend is 865.55. Let's go ahead and set this up like we did in question one. Seven, and we want to find out how many times this fits into 865.55. Starting with this eight, seven fits into eight once. Subtract, we end up with one. Bring the six down. Seven fits into 16, twice. Two times seven is equal to 14, with a remainder of two. Now we bring this five down. Seven fits into 25 three times comfortably. That's equal to 21 and we end up with four. We have a decimal. We place that decimal after this three. We bring this five down. Seven fits into 45 six times. Six times seven is 42. Subtract, we end up with three. And finally, we bring this five down. Seven fits into 35 five times perfectly. Five times seven is 35. That gives us a remainder of zero. And this right here represents our quotient, our answer. Finally, in question number three, this is the first time where our dividend is smaller than our divisor. If you look back at the previous two questions, the dividend has been greater than the divisor. That shouldn't change anything. Let's go ahead and set this up. We have 898, and we wanna know how many times that fits into this small number of eight. 898 does not fit into eight at all, so we'll write down zero. And we'll introduce a decimal place. 898 fits into, and take this as 80. It doesn't fit into 80 at all, so we'll introduce another zero. And put a zero right here. 898 fits into 800 zero times, so we'll put another zero. Finally, we place another zero, and then we ask how many times does it fit into 8,000? You might need to use a calculator at this point Let's test out 898 by six. We still have some more room. Let's try nine. That's a little bit over, so eight is the right answer. This fits eight times into 8,000. Eight times 898 gives us 7,184. Let's subtract. If we subtract these two numbers, we have, let's borrow 
a 1 from here, this becomes a 7, this becomes a 10, and then it becomes a 9, this becomes a 10, and then a 9, this becomes a 10. 10 minus 4 is equal to 6, 9 minus 8 is equal to 1, 9 minus 1 is equal to 8, and 7 minus 7 is equal to 0. We have a remainder of 816, not good enough. Since we don't want remainders, I'll add another 0 here, bring that 0 down, and we have to figure out how many times this fits into 8160. Could it be 9 or 8 again? Let's use our calculator just for good measure. 898 eight times 9 gives us something that's slightly less than the one we see. So I'm going to choose 9. 9 times the following. 9 times 898 eight gives us 80, 82. And I'm going to stop after this. Taking away 1 from here, this makes it 5. So we have 8. 5 minus 8, we have to borrow 1 from here. 15 minus 8 is equal to 7, 0, and 0. So we have a remainder of 78, and I'll stop right there. This right here represents our quotient with a remainder of 78. Technically, you would have to keep going, but this is good enough. And so there you have it. That is how to divide by long division with remainders.